Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a tutorial using every single Charlotte Tilbury quad that I own. This took weeks if not months worth of filming and anytime I had the opportunity to play with one of my Charlotte Tilbury quads and use it I filmed it for you guys so the point of this is if you already own Charlotte Tilbury quads hopefully to give you some inspiration and some different looks that you can create because they are definitely more pricey also if you do not have any and you're looking to purchase some I really hope that this video helps give you insight as to whether or not you want to purchase it so you can see the colors how they blend and really see the palette in action itself this is the segue into me doing my Charlotte Tilbury rankings video so make sure you are subscribed to my channel because one of the next videos coming up is going to be me ranking all of my Charlotte Tilbury palettes, quads, and palettes. But I really thought this was a fun way to get a close look at these palettes. The tutorials are done in no particular order, it's just the time frame that I did them in. The first tutorial is from months ago and all the way up to today's tutorial. So I really hope that this video has some value and that it's very helpful for you guys. I worked really hard on it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mod we are playing with today is the Bella Sophia. As you can see, we have more neutral toned bronzy shades. Taking a refer number 16, I'm going into the brown shade. We're gonna pat this into the outer corner. And as we blend this out, we are going to blend it towards the inner part of our crease. So start outwards, then blend inwards. Using a JS13 from Morphe, I'm going to run the same brown shade along the lower lash line. A MAC 217, I'm going into the cranberry shade. I'm gonna put this on the lower part of my crease, not blending up too high, but I want to add a warm element to this look, just so that the warmth is peaking up a little bit. Using my finger, we're going to apply the bronzy shade. This is a gorgeous shade because it's really glittery and sparkly on the eyelid. Only thing is it does have a transparent base, so you may need to build it up if you're putting it on a blank eyelid, but how pretty is that? Going back in with my JS13, we're taking the light shade. This is going to open up the eyes in the inner corner and underneath the brow bone. So I'm going to put on liner and lashes and I'll be back to show you the final look. So with liner and lashes, here's the final look. I just popped on Lily Lashes in the style Gaia. I don't think these are available anymore, but this is the look that I created with Bella Sophia. So the quad for today's video is going to be super blue from her new Eye Color Magic collection, or semi-new I guess at this point. Using a MAC 224, we're going to start off with this bronzy shade. You'd be surprised when you actually blend this out the shimmer does not affect the crease too much really take some time to blend this out with my finger I'm gonna take the sparkly blue shade going to pop this all over the eyelid next taking a refer 14 we're taking the navy shade I find this shade not to be the easiest to work with, so work very, very slow on this. So I'm patting it into my outer corner, and then I'm slowly gonna work it to right in between the blue and the brown, and we're gonna go back to the pop shade very soon. I'm going to touch up the pop shade on my lid. Taking a refer number three, I'm going back in with the navy shade. As you can see, I'm running this very close to my lower lash line gonna blend some of the pop shade right over top. Taking a JS13 from Morphe, we're taking the shimmer shade right here. This is our inner corner and underneath the brow color. I'm going to go off and do liner and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the final look with liner and lashes. I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Super Blue Eyeliner Magic Duo and I used the navy side on the upper lash line and the metallic side on the waterline. And then I'm using Lily Lashes in the Style Lux, which aren't my favorite but they look okay with this look. So here's the final look using Super Blue. Today we are going to be using Mesmerizing Maroon. Taking my MAC 224, I'm going to dip it into the plum color and you want to make sure you keep this only on the outside. I'm not blending this inward towards the crease. We're just blending it out here. I'm also taking with a Refer 14 brush that along the outer half 
of my lower lash line. I'm gonna pop just a little bit more depth in here, which allows me to be a little bit more precise. Next, we're going into this light shade right here. I'm using a JS10 from Morphe, and I'm going to just put this light creamy champagne shade with a little bit of gold, and I'm just applying that to the rest of my eyelid. So this is going to create that really glowy, open-eyed look. With my finger, I'm going into the pop shade. We're just gonna add a little bit of extra dimension right to the center of the lid. This doesn't do too terribly much over the light shade, so just keep that in mind. But it is gonna add some extra dimension. Finally, with the JS13, I'm taking this maroon shade, and this is going to add maroon to the look. You can leave it like this if you just want a really soft, light, purpley eye. But if you apply this to the rest of the lower lash line, it adds a really fine maroon element. So I'm going to go off camera, do liner and lashes, and I will show you the completed look. So here's the final look. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Duo Eyeliner Pencil in Mesmerizing Maroon. I used the maroon shimmery side along the waterline to make the maroon pop. And then I used the plum side, which is the matte side on my upper lash line, and that brings out the plum up here. But I really love how this look plays with both plums and maroons. It's a really, really fun palette and I really enjoy this look a lot. So the quad we are going to be digging into today is Exaggerize, one of the most popular in her line. Taking my MAC 224, I'm dipping into this glowy shade right here. This to me is the ultimate Charlotte Tilbury shadow. It just gives that glow to the skin effortlessly and when I think of Charlotte Tilbury, you can get a Charlotte Tilbury look on the eye by just putting this all over. To calm down the shimmer, I'm taking my Refer 14 brush and dipping it into this matte shade right here. It's such a pretty color and this blends effortlessly with that shimmer shade and I'm gonna apply that to the lower lash line as well. With my finger, I'm taking the pop shade. I'm just popping this right into the center of the eyelid. With my refer number three brush, I'm taking the shimmer shade. We're gonna use this as the brow highlight right here and the inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I will be right back. So here is the final look that I got from Exaggerize. Just a really simple, everyday, glowy kind of eye. Definitely a very typical Charlotte Tilbury eye look. I used the matte side of the Mesmerizing Maroon Duo Liner and then I used Coco Lashes and Misha for this very light, everyday, kind of look. So today's tutorial, we are going to be using the Glowing Goddess, which I think this is weird. This is called the Glowing Goddess because it's not really golden. It's a neutral brown eye that you're gonna get out of this, but I'm not complaining. I love the colors. I'm gonna start off with my MAC 224. I'm taking this shade right here. We're gonna use this as the background for our look. So I am going to blend this onto my crease and then a little bit in the outer corner. With my Kaleidos S3, I'm going to run this along my my lower lash line as well. And then we're gonna kind of bring this shape a little bit outward. Next, with my finger, I'm gonna take this shade. This is a very cool tone, kind of taupe color. And I'm gonna run this all over the lid. And you can see how much warmer the brown is compared to this satin shade. All over my lid, we're gonna take the pop shade. Just gonna put this all over the eye. I like this pop shade in particular, and it's extra glimmery. Lastly, I'm taking this shade right here. This is going in my inner corner underneath my brow bone. So I'm gonna do liner, lashes, and mascara, and I will be right back. So here is the final look for the Glowing Goddess. For lashes right now, I'm wearing Ardell 421 because I wanted to keep everything very natural. As you can see, this is just a really effortless neutral brown eye with a little extra glimmer on there, and I really like it. This is kind of my ideal neutral brown eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. For today's look, we are using the Green Lights Quad. This is one of her newer ones. I have a couple tutorials already on my channel using this quad. Using a Kaleidos S3, we're going into the gold. I'm just going to do a wash of the gold on the first half of my lid. With my Kaleidos S1, I'm taking this shade right here. Tap off the excess so you don't get too much glitter fallout on your face. And we're gonna blend this on the outer half of the lid. 
Next, I'm gonna take the pop shade and I'm just gonna put this right in between the gold and the crease color that we use to add a little extra dimension to the eye. From Refer, I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm gonna use this green shade to line my entire lower lash line to really bring that green element into the look. Okay, I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I will be right back. So I decided to forego lashes for this look because I'm just wearing a light natural skin tint for today. But here is the final look so that you can see a really fun pop of green. I use the Green Lights Dual Eye Pencil from Charlotte Tilbury as well that goes with this palette. And then the mascara I'm wearing is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. And you guys are right, this grows on you for sure. But here is the final look using green lights. If you are interested in seeing more looks using this quad, I have it in my review of the whole collection and also in a monthly favorites. I do another look with this palette, so. For today's tutorial, we are going to be using the Glamour Muse quad. Using a Kaleidos S1, we're gonna start off with this light shimmery color. This color isn't really gonna get its moment to shine in this tutorial. It's a gorgeous color, but I can't really show it off with the look that I'm doing today, but I am just gonna kind of add a little bit of extra shimmery brightness in the inner half of my crease so that it'll pop through in the look. Using a Luxie 229, I'm taking this charcoal color. For me, this is my favorite shade of the palette. I feel like it's a very appropriate gray color. It's very approachable and I just really enjoy the quality of this and the color and the tone. I'm also going to put a little bit onto the lid as a base color for the lid shade and then I'm gonna apply some on the lower lash line. I'm gonna start off with my finger in the purple shade and I'm gonna start off by using my finger to apply this all over. As you can see, it is a very sheer kind of shimmery purple. You're more so going to get a haze of it rather than an actual opaque purple color. Using a Kaleidos S4 brush, I did kind of dig into the purple shade a little bit and then I wet my brush just because I wanted to get it a little bit more vibrant. This isn't my favorite technique with this kind of shade because you can see a little bit of clumpiness happening, but overall it does deepen that haze a little bit. Taking the Kaleidos S5 brush, I am going to put this along my lower lash line. Then we're gonna take the lightest color and I'm using this as an inner corner highlight and underneath the brow. So here's the look. I'm going to do a liner and lashes and I'll be back to show you how it looks. All right guys, so here is the final look with lashes. I used the Fenty Beauty Perpetrator. And then I used Lily Lashes in the style Houston. And here's the final look. This isn't my favorite Charlotte Tilbury quad, but you really can get kind of a more wearable, everyday, friendly, purpley kind of look. So it's a good way to incorporate purples into an everyday routine. Right, here you go. Here is the final look. For today's look, we're going to use the iconic Pillow Talk Quad. I'm not going to do anything fancy with this palette. I kind of just want to show the beauty of what this palette has for a light, soft, simple look. MAC 224, I'm taking the lightest shade. This is going to be our all-over crease shade. I'm not over-applying. These shadows most definitely can be built up, but I just want this look really soft and springy for today. I'm also just going to run that along the lower lash line. It's a very soft color, so I'm okay to use a big brush. With a Kaleidos S2, we're taking this shade right here. This is going to be our deepening shade. I do find that the more you build this shade up, especially the warmer and more peachy this particular palette pulls. But if you just use a light bit, it still keeps that pinky pull to it does build up to be more warm, which is a bit odd, but it's still pretty nonetheless. With a Kaleidos S3, we're taking the prime shade. I'm just doing a very soft wash of this all over the lid. That's why I'm using this fluffy brush. And then I'm taking a little bit more of a tighter brush, and I'm gonna use that to really focus the color on my inner corner and underneath my brow bone. Finally, of course, we're gonna take the pop shade. 
This has very subtle gold glitters everywhere. So of course I want the glitters to be everywhere because it's so pretty for a soft look. So I'm just patting this baby all over the eyelid. As you can see, just a very pretty soft everyday eye look. I'm gonna put on liner and lashes and we'll be back. All right guys, so here is the final look. All I did was put a nude liner in my waterline and then I used my Benefit Bad Gal Lash and then the Ardell 421s, my favorite everyday lashes for an everyday look and I absolutely love this look. This is a total Charlotte Tilbury glowy eye look so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Next we are going to be using Uptown Girl. If you are into cool tones this is the go-to palette from Charlotte Tilbury. With the MAC 224 I'm taking this light gray shade. I'm going to just be applying this only to the outer half of my eye. I'm not bringing any of this gray into the inner half of my crease. So we're really just blowing this gray out here. It does have shimmer to it, but as always, Charlotte Tilbury shimmers can be used just as normal matte shadows. With a Morphe F507, I am going to take this into the lower lash line, but not going in too far. With the refer number 12 brush, we're going into the deepest shade and you are going to start stamping it into the outer corner and slowly blending. With the Kaleidos S3, we're taking the lightest shade, apply a light wash of it all over the inner half of the lid. This area of the lid should be completely blank, so this should really open up the eyelid. Using my finger, we're going into the pop shade. This is a really bright and glittery pop shade from Charlotte. I absolutely love it. And I'm just putting it basically everywhere. This is all for the look. I'm gonna put on liner and lashes and you'll see the final look. Here's the final look with some black winged liner and lily lashes in the style Gaia. Any cool toned lovers who love these gray tones, this is a gorgeous quad. It's honestly one of my favorite cool tone palettes in my collection. It's stunning. The next tutorial we are going to be using Queen of Glow. Neutral lovers, you're really going to enjoy this one. We're gonna start off with a MAC 224 in this dark brown shade. This shade right here is incredible. Incredible. Make sure you use a light hand. I didn't use a light hand on the other eye and I just got a lot of color, a lot of payoff at once. Luckily, the colors blend so easily that it was able to fix itself. But in order to keep control, starting off little is best with this formula, but this dark brown is one of the most <laughs> amazing dark browns, truly. Also going in with a refer 14 brush on the lower lash line and also building up some depth in the outer corner. Kaleidos S3, we're taking the gold shade and I'm gonna put a wash of this all over the eyelid, a super buttery formula. This quad itself really represents Charlotte's formula very well. There aren't any short cuts in here everything is super buttery super smooth taking this old coastal sense brush we're taking the lightest shade no surprise here we're going to open up the eye with that color put a little bit down here then a little bit up here as well then of course we're going to finish with the pop formula and just putting a touch for some extra dimension I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the final look. I just used some Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara and Lily Lashes in the style Makeup by Samuel. And we have this really gorgeous, sultry, bronzy look. I'm absolutely in love with this look. It's very simple, but I can't help myself. These are the best. We are going to be working on Dreamgasm today. MAC 224 Any Blending Brush to get this shade. And I'm using a blending brush just to get that soft sheen all over the lid. This is probably my favorite technique of Charlotte Tilbury's and what makes her eyeshadows special in my opinion so that you can do this and you're kind of good to go for the day. Refer 14 brush, we're taking this cranberry shade. I'm going to pack this in the outer corner mostly and I want to blend it out to be really, really soft as you can see for this eye. So I'm just putting a little bit and I'm also running that along the lower lash line. I'm going back in with my MAC brush that I used for the lid color. We're gonna use that to soften all of this color out. Take a small brush and we're taking the lightest shade. This is going in the inner corner, just below the brow bone. And then finally, we're going for the pop shade. And I just kind of want to give that dream gasm essence. So we're going to apply a sheer layer of the pop shade 
basically everywhere. Today's look is super quick and simple, so I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be right back. I put on my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, no liner today, and the Ardell 421s for that overall really kind of dreamy, glowy, simple Charlotte Tilbury look. This is such a great glowy everyday eye. I really love it. I haven't used this quad in a while, so I enjoyed creating this one a lot. The Copper Charge Quad is our poison today, and we're gonna start off with the deepest shade. I'm using a Kaleidos S2 brush. And you guys will see this is like the most beautiful formula. So we're patting it out here a little bit, and then just watch it blend itself so seamlessly without any effort. And I'm trying to keep most of the color out here in the outer corner, but then I'm also working whatever's left over my brush inwards. Blended super easily, now I'm putting just a little bit on the lower lash line. Kaleidos S3, we're taking the copper shade. And I wanted this to be the focal point of the look today. So this is going everywhere, you guys, all over the entire lid for a really simple, warm copper eye. With a small pointy brush, we're gonna take this shade. And this is going in the inner corner and the brow bone as per usual. Super simple look today. I'm gonna put on liner and lashes and I'll be back to show you the final look. All right, you guys, here is the final look. I, of course, used my copper charge eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury to go with the quad. So I used the orange metallic in my waterline and then I used the dark maroon on my upper lash line. And then I used Gaia lashes from Lily. As you can see, I'm trying to get my wear out of them so I can declutter them. But here is the final look. Really simple, warm copper eye. Very beautiful for the summer and the fall. On to the next one. Vintage Vamp is the quad we are working on today. So with the Luxie 229, we're gonna start off with this color right here. And this color we're going to put everywhere, very well blended throughout the crease. This isn't my favorite quad from Charlotte Tilbury. I do find this one can be a little bit harder to work with, a little bit patchier. Like this shade is fine. It's when we get into the depth shade. It takes a little bit of extra work, but I'm just blending out a nice soft layer of this everywhere because as you can see, we have a dark haze here. I'm also going to be applying this to the lower lash line. We're gonna really plumb this look up with this color right here. I'm using a Morphe M507 and I'm really gonna focus patting that deep color out here in the outer corner. And then I'm going to blend it up into the crease. But I am going for a look with a lot of depth today. In this color, I do struggle a little bit to get it to work. So I'm gonna take an overall bigger fluffier brush just to soften everything. I'm skipping the gold all together today because I really wanted this very light champagne color and I just really like how this complements and brings out the plum tones in the first two colors that we use. You can get a really cool look with the gold as well but I don't like using all four from this quad together. And then I'm going to go back and build some of that deep plum to make the look a little bit more cohesive. Okay, so here is where we're at right now. I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I will be right back. So I went with some black winged liner, how original. <laughs> and I use the Fenty Perpetrator Purple Eyeliner in my lower lash line to bring out the plum tones. And then I use my Ardell 421 lashes because they're natural but still a little bit sultry. So here's the look, it's a deeper plum, kind of smoky eye. I wasn't expecting to get this look out of it. Overall, it pulled together very well. So on to the last and final tutorial. For the last and final tutorial, I'm using my newest quad, the Desert Haze Quad. So with my MAC 224, I'm actually gonna mix these top two colors together. This most definitely has to be one of my favorite quads from her because it truly is just impeccable quality. It just does the work for you. And even though the colors are a little bit more warm based, they just blend out so nice. I'm also going to run both of these on the lower lash line. With the Kaleidos S2, we're taking the medium brown and I'm going to use this to lightly add some definition into the crease. As you can see, we are going from a dark 
blending out to a light look so you do want to work on getting a good blend in. Don't be afraid to run this along the lower lash line as well. Kaleidos S3, we're going in with the darkest shade. This right here is where I really feel like the proof is in the pudding. Do you guys see how amazing, deep, and pigmented that is? And not only that, but it also blends out. Also gonna take on a small brush and just blend that dark color on my lower lash line like so. I'm gonna pop a little bit of the first two colors that we mixed together back on top just to bring those colors back to life. And that's all for shadow. I'm going to do liner and lashes and I'll be back to show you the final look. All right, you guys, here is the final look for this deep smoky eye. So I used the Feline Flick Eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. This is new, so I'm so excited. Today's the first time I'm testing it out. And then I use 9 to 5 by Coco Lashes. And I really enjoy this look a little bit deeper than I prefer, but the shadows, as you can see, blended very nice. That is it, you guys. I have officially done a tutorial with every single Charlotte Tilbury quad that I owned. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that if you are looking into purchasing some quads of your own that this video helped you make the decision and if you already own them i really do hope that i inspired you to pull them out and create some looks i hope you enjoyed all of the amazing looks i created it's definitely been a lot of work for this video to get it up a lot of my time and the makeup i've worn has been specifically grabbing for these quads for this video so you guys have no idea how happy i am to get it up so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of when i post my charlotte tilbury rankings and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one